Have you ever seen a magnifying sheet? I found this magnifying sheet at my local Dollar Tree store. And yes, I paid a dollar for it. Now I've already pre-cut a couple holes in this because you know what we're about to do. But first, just to prove that it really is a magnifying sheet, got a copy of a piece of music here from Queen. Magnifying it a little bit here. Maybe if I put the magnifying sheet up close. Oh yeah, there we go. Now you can really see how big it gets. Lazing on a Sunday afternoon. Well, maybe you're lazing on a Sunday afternoon. Well, let's see if we can cut a record onto a magnifying sheet. Here is the magnifying sheet removed from its packaging. Notice that it has a smooth side. Then also has a groove side. Okay. And the way I punch holes in them is I, I bought like a leather hole puncher and you get the exact size and you just hit it with a hammer and it punches a hole. All right, so if you try one of these at home, make sure you get one that has a smooth side to it. Now, will it fit on the turntable? So there you can see it fits right on the turntable. And um, what we're gonna do is place the cutting head on the shortest edge. So that would be this edge here. That way we don't end up cutting into the turntable. So I'm going to place the tone arm or the cutting head on the shortest end. And I've already got the, a, a local AM radio station playing on there. Kind of hear it there. I've got my handy dandy brush to wipe away the swarf, which I always forget the name of. I've got the sound muted with a plug in the headphone jack so that we can go ahead and crank it up and see what happens. Here we go. And I was thinking it might go ahead and uh, rub up against the tone arm there, which it is, but doesn't appear to be stopping anything. Oh yeah, this is working good. We're getting some nice swarf out of it. Hopefully that sound doesn't get in the way. Not getting any noise, which is sometimes what I get when I'm cutting records, is you get some kind of noise from the tone arm. I mean from the cutting head, sorry. We're getting noise from the tone arm here because the thing is square and when I stuck it onto the turntable it was kind of sticking uh, up on the edges for some reason. This may turn out to be an actually really good way of cutting a record. I don't know if you guys can see the grooves cutting in there but again we're just recording off of a local AM radio station because the machine has its own AM radio. Keeping the swarf off of there. I don't have anything fancy like a vacuum cleaner to vacuum it all up, so gotta do this the old fashioned way. And I've noticed with cutting with the solo the solo plates is that a lot of times it, it wants to gather up on the tone arm. Or I should say gather up <laughs> gather up on the cutting head. Sorry, I'm distracted here trying to get all this stuff off of here as we go. All right, we're about to reach the center, so I'm going to have to cut it off here. All right, just go ahead and turn it off. And look at that swarf. We just got swarfed, kids. It's like a spider web almost. And it's a little staticky, too. Yeah, lots of... Lots of swarf here. Look at this. It's a great way to make spider webs. New way to make spider webs. I should have titled this How to Make Spider Webs out of a magnifying thing. All right, well, let's take it off here and inspect what the what the grooves look like. Oh man, that's a tight fit. 
All right, so there's our grooves cut very nicely into the uh, into the center there. See that? All right, so how does it sound? That'll be our next test. All right, here we go. I'm gonna switch off the radio. The teenager stated he did not know the people inside the car. Okay. Turned it on to phono and I unmuted it. And now it's time for playback. Time for the playback. Here we go, 78 revolutions per minute. Whoa, we gotta get the right side there. There's podcasts, five weeks of podcasts are there. All the written, published articles that I've authored since 19, oh man, well, it's been 21 years now, April 1st, 1994, and uh, are there. All you have to do is type in a, in a search box what you're looking for. Flooring, roof, windows, furnace, air conditioning, swamp coolers, chillers, tile, and all the printed published articles appear in headline format. They're all printer-friendly versions. And I encourage you to make copies, read, because the style of that I write, they give you more information. Like using the power washer correct way to avoid any damage is my latest one. And it was published uh, yesterday. <laughs> and I give you more information, more facts about different cleaners that don't need power washing. Uh, what happens when you, the interviews that I've done. Well, this guy on, sounds interesting. Will tell you how bad a power washer can be. No wonder he's on AM. And here's the reason for this article. They have come down in price, and people are picking them up. That sorry, oh, I'm sure he's got a fabulous show. Thing around the house. I don't have a problem with the electric one because you can't draw more than 15 amps off a of 110 circuit. But you get these gasoline-powered puppies, and you're running 2,500 psi, 2,800, 3,000 open. You're cutting lumber. You're cutting lumber. It's the handyman show with Glenn Hagee. Wow, what timing. Caught it right at the end there. So there you go, guys. We just cut a record into... Whoops, sorry, that was my little paintbrush there. We just cut a record into... Uh, a magnifying sheet. It's a magnifying sheet. And of course, we don't want to uh, record on the other side because if we record on the other side... There's already grooves in it, which will interfere with the, the cutting grooves of the uh... well. It'll it'll interfere with the grooves that we're trying to cut. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Again, dollar store paid a dollar for it. Makes a pretty good record. If only I could record at 33 RPM. Hmm. Imagine I could put a whole album on there. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I like to cut into all kinds of uh, different materials on my channel, and you can watch those. Subscribe and leave a comment. See ya. Ooh, it's Swarf. It's Swarf. It's coming after you. Swarf.